plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hello, welcome to plumberparts.co.uk video. I'm not from the north. We're looking at this video today. We're going to be changing over this little Triton electric shower for a new type Triton electric shower. The old one we're taking out here is the Triton T40 Mark IV. They don't make them like they used to. I mean, look at it. It is the Volvo of, uh, of the old world of showers. So yeah, it's quality. So we're going to take that beast out. Uh, we're going to put a new one in, a nice new sleek, rounded off, beautiful Triton shower. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. It should be really, really simple. I'm very confident I've done this loads and loads of times and I know exactly how to isolate everything. So that's the first thing we're going to go over. If this video helps you out, then please subscribe. We do videos every week. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And above all, enjoy the video. Enjoy, I said, enjoy. Did I say enjoy? Yeah, enjoy. All right, hold tight. Number one, we're going to turn the electrics off by turning this bit off here. But that's not enough. We need to go and find the isolation, okay? The actual proper breaker. Throw the trip on that and then we know for sure that there's not going to be any powering. But that doesn't mean that in a minute I'm not going to take the cover off and use my electrical tester to make sure that we've cut the power properly. If you look there closely, shower is now switched off. The next thing I want to do is actually turn off the water supply. All these showers should be fed from the mains system, okay? So it's going to be fed from the mains water supply that comes into the house. You're usually going to find that underneath the kitchen sink or somewhere, hopefully not a place where a plumber has put it that's in a really hard, difficult to find place. Place. So the next thing is to turn the water off. If you can't do that, then you can't carry on with this job. Oh my god! Right, so now I've got the water off, I basically got to look for a couple of screws that are usually around the outside. This is always the bit that's like, well, how do you get this off? How? Uh, at the moment, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to pop this front plate off here, so it'll do. Usually you'll find the screws are like one there, one there, one there, and one there. On this particular model, the screws are in on the front. We're just going to whip these off now. So there we go, let's bring the cover off, pop that out of the way. But I'm just going to use my electrical tester here to make sure that everything's dead. So, pop that on my live. Cool, everything is definitely dead. Now that I know that the light supply is definitely dead and I'm not going to get blown to pieces by a vast amount of electricity going through my brain, I can now remove the wires. As soon as you've done the wires, we can then think about slackening off the water supply because we know we've already got that turned off. Before you do that, you might want to open up the other taps in the house just to make sure that all the water pipes have been vented through nicely and you won't get a load of gushing water coming out in a minute when you come to take that off. It's nice and easy to find the water supply. We've just got it in there. Nice little adjustable. 15 mil adjustable there, so we should be able to undo that easily, get that slackened off. Once we've got that slackened off, we won't be able to lift the shower off yet because we've got a couple of little screws at the back that we need to undo that hold the actual whole shower to the wall. Once we've got them off, basically we can lift the shower off the wall and start preparing our new shower to go on. So I've got them two loosened off now, I'm just going to get behind here and get these screws undone and then we should find that we can take off our nice little shower unit. Oh, this is so exciting. So it's getting nice and loose now. Be prepared for a little bit of water to come out at this point as well. You are going to be draining out a pipe pretty much. So you've got a little bit there. Just leave that to run, just wait for that to stop. Come on, lad. There we go. This is when you open up some sort of catastrophe behind the shower. As you can see, we've got that just there. But hopefully, with any luck, we'll be able to cover it all up with a new shower. Uh, because I don't have any tiles to be able to make this bit good. So, praise be to God, we've got our new Triton shower bit here. Now, you've got uh, a direction that they make it so you can pretty much have multi-direction inlets for the water, which is really handy. So all we're going to need to do on this one here is to actually swing this 90 degree elbow round and then get a nut and all lift to go on there and that should be fine. The same goes for the electrics that easily go in. You're going to find this with a lot of different manufacturers. They're trying to make it as universal as possible so that when you change over to a new electric shower, you know, you don't have to worry so much about getting the same manufacturers. So basically what we're going to do now, first thing I always do is get my water in the position that I know it's going to be in and then I can redraw my holes to position it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is twist this round and actually get our water kind of mocked up. So now we've got this in the position it's going to be and I'm just going to knock that over tight a little bit there and that will cover up any gaps or anything down the other side. 
There are two old screw holes there. I'm going to have to make that good with a little bit of white silicon. So now I know exactly where I need to put my screws. I've got a hole here at the back and a hole here at the back there. For whatever shower you're fitting, you know, the holes are going to be in different places. But we are just showing you the sort of average method of doing this sort of job. So I'm just going to get my screw holes done now and then I'm going to screw this up to the wall, tighten this up, put my clamp in and then do the electrics up. Always make sure as well that it's nice and level with the tiles, that it looks amazing. So, I am marking a hole, marking a hole, I'm out of my head, can't take it. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, oh. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my adjustables and I'm just going to tighten up this joint here. So now that we've got that tightened up, we can now turn the water back on. Uh, do it now, test for leaks, and only then after that, follow manufacturer's instructions. That's the best way of doing this. As I said, this is just a brief idea about how to actually do this sort of job. So I'm just going to turn the water back on now and test for leaks. Right, so the water's back on and I am very happy. So yeah, now I'm going to reconnect the electrics here according to the manufacturer's instructions and also the colours of the electrical world of the United Kingdom. I can't stress enough how important it is if you're not happy doing electrics to not do this job. You should get a qualified person in to do any of the electrics so it gets signed off properly. Right, so now everything's back on. I'm not going to turn the power on yet until I've got this cover back on. Um, keep the plastic exterior on as long as I can. Stop us getting any dirty pull marks over it. Right, so I've got one screw in at the bottom. Do these up. Right, so screw a uh, nice hose on here. Pop this off now. Set this up. The new shower head. I've already turned the electrics back on, so I'm just going to switch them on just here. Like so. Now you see we've got a lovely little light there. I'm now following Triton's actual commissioning details, but for every shower it's different, so do, as I've said before, read the instructions. So, now should we just be able to turn this on here? The opportunity now to wash away all your mess <laughs> down the sink. Oh wow, it's getting real hot now. Brilliant. So there you go, you've seen how easy it is to change over a shower. I mean, if you know what you're doing, if you're confident, and obviously if you've got qualified Sparky around to give you a hand, this is a really, really easy job to do. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If it has, then please subscribe to our videos. We upload videos every week of plumbing disasters, photos, blah, 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 blah. If you've got any questions, ask us in the comments section below. Share this video with your mates. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. We are a very active bunch of plumbing pandas. So there we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please come back and watch us, and I'll see you very, very soon. Hold tight. Oh, what's this doing here? Hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice.